What is pi? Let's assume we are asked to draw a circle of radius 3 cm. So we draw a circle like this. The length of this red thing will be the perimeter. And we have a special name for the perimeter of a circle. It's called the circumference. This length will be the circumference. This length will measure 18.85 cm. The next thing we need to find out is the diameter of the circle. The diameter of a circle is twice its radius. Hence, the diameter will be 2 multiplied by 3 which equals 6 cm. Now we've been asked to draw a circle of radius 4 cm. It will be slightly bigger than the previous one. This red boundary will be the circumference. This time too, we measure the circumference. For this circle, we get the circumference as 25.1 cm. And the diameter will be twice its radius, which equals 8 cm. We looked at two different cases here. One circle with 3 as the radius and another with 4 as its radius. In both cases, we calculated the circumference and the diameter. Let's zoom out and find the ratio of circumference by diameter in each case. If we calculate the value of circumference by diameter in the first case, we will approximately get it as 3.14. And guess what? In the second case too, we get the value of circumference by diameter as approximately 3.14. No matter what circle you look at, the value of circumference by diameter will always be approximately equal to 3.14. This value is pi. Remember, both these values are approximations. Now let's zoom out and deduce a formula for the circumference. As the circumference by diameter equals pi, we can say that the circumference of a circle equals pi multiplied by the diameter. If we call the diameter d, then the formula can be written as pi multiplied by d, which can also be written as pi multiplied by 2r, because the diameter is twice the radius. So the circumference of a circle is written as 2 pi r. All we did was write this product a bit differently. This is a very important formula as it gives us the value of the circumference even if you just have the radius of the circle. There's another important thing about this special constant pi. We get the same value if we divide 22 by 7. So the value of pi approximately equals 3.14 or 22 by 7. But why do we use this symbol for pi? What is this symbol? Pi is actually the 16th letter of the Greek alphabet. But the question still remains, why the 16th letter? We just saw that pi has got something to do with the perimeter or the circumference of the circle. Let's use Google Translate to see the Greek equivalent of perimeter. As we can see, the first letter of the Greek word is pi. Let's try a couple of more words related to perimeter. How about periphery? The first letter is still pi. Mm, okay, let's try circumference. The first letter as all of us can see is still pi. That's probably why the symbol was used to denote pi. Anyway, don't forget the important point. Pi is the circumference of the circle divided by its diameter. So it is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter. Based on the formula, if the diameter of the circle is 1 unit, then its circumference will be pi units. If we have a circle like this with diameter equal to 1 unit, then the length of this boundary will be pi or approximately 3.14 units.